Hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Root Beer here looking at our 13th Fermat question from the year 2018. So let's take a look, see. Hopefully you guys have, oops, wrong side. Hopefully you guys have taken a look at this question already, question 13 here, uh, and given it a try. And that way you're just you're just coming here to maybe learn a different way to do it, maybe learn a faster way to do it, or just check that, that you got it uh, correct. Okay. I will remind you, if you just want solutions, you can click the second link in the descriptions uh, in, the, in the description down below, and it will take you to the Waterloo website, and they have solutions to all their past contests on there. All right, so a digital clock shows the time 4.56. How many minutes will pass until the clock next shows a time in which all of the digits are consecutive and are in increasing order? Okay. So four, five, six. What I would do is probably just start writing down, okay, here's here's the current time, and let's slowly advance time. Now, none of the other ones in the hour of four o'clock are going to work, because you'd need to have a, if you're starting with a four, you've got to have a five and a six. So we go to the next hour, and that's five o'clock, and we'd be looking for what? Well, if the numbers are consecutive and in, and in increasing order, we'd have five hours, 67 minutes, but of course that's not a time. So advance to the next hour, if it was six, you'd have to have seven and eight. If it was seven, you'd have to have eight and nine, but none of these are times because the minutes will only go up to 60. Eight would be nine and 10, and that doesn't even make sense. Nine would be even worse because these, these don't even make sense as times that you could even see on a badly programmed clock. 10 doesn't work because you have a 1 followed by a 0. 11 doesn't work because it's a 1 followed by... So you got to go all the way down to 12. But 12.34 is, is the next time that'll work. Now we have to figure out, well, how much time has passed because that's what they want. How many minutes? How many minutes will pass? Okay. So what I would do is, is say, all right, here's our start time. It's going to be 4 minutes until 5 o'clock, because I find it's very easy to count by hours. And then we need to get to 12. So get all the way down to 12 o'clock, that's 7 hours. There's 60 hours per minute. So multiply by 60, we get 420 minutes. And then we need to go another 34 minutes to get 1234. Okay, so 4 and 34 is 38. 420 plus 38 is 458, and that's going to be our final answer. 458 is that one of the possibilities. It's the very first one. It's A. So carefully, we bubble it down. Or sorry, bubble it in or write it down. Uh, I'm a big fan of bubbling as I go, but I do know other people who just want to focus on the contest, so they write a little A or they circle it on the paper, and then at the end they bubble everything in. Do whatever is best, but you don't want to be caught when time is called and not have your Scantron sheet bubbled in if you're actually writing the contest. Because if your proctor is real nice, they might collect your paper last and you can bubble it in. But I've had plenty of proctor who has been quite harsh and, and you know strictly follows the rules because that's what they're supposed to do and will just sort of take that away from you. And if you didn't bubble in, you're out of luck. So I was always scared of that. So I always recommend bubbling as you go, but it's entirely up to you. Okay, so that was question 13. Up next will be question number 14. I will see you for that in the next video. Take care.